There are several local crews headed south. The Red Cross still has volunteers in Florida from Helene and search and rescue teams from Maryland's Task Force One. They are set to make their way to North Carolina as other crews shift back down to Florida in anticipation of Milton. DC News Now's Daniel Hamburg is in Rockville with how this group is preparing. 30 members of Maryland Task Force One are getting prepared to head down south to relieve their teammates that are already in North Carolina. The team consists of not only just people here in Montgomery County, but all across the state. Maryland Task Force One based in Rockville has been deployed for 13 days, which consists of 45 personnel. And they're anything from um, experts in medical services to uh, structural integrity to swift water rescue to search and rescue. The team started out in Georgia, then were redeployed to North Carolina. It's a catastrophe, like I said earlier, um, and now Milton is making it even worse. Because of the devastation, a fresh set of resources will help continue the mission for another two weeks. They can continue the work uh, that they've been doing in North Carolina, or they can be deployed anywhere else where this most needed. Right now, there's still a big need where Hurricane Helene hit. American Red Cross volunteers are providing assistance to people affected. A lot of power outage here in the Tallahassee area. Um, so we've been um, doing mobile feeding to the people who didn't have power. Volunteer Vic Parker is deployed in Tallahassee, Florida. This storm is much more devastating because of the power outage and the trees down. Um, I say that because it's more widespread. Not just one city, but spread across multiple states. Hurricane Milton is expected to be worse than Helene, but emergency crews are ready. I am confident in our team. I'm confident in the training that they receive, uh, and they're ready to go do take care of whatever need there there is, what, regardless of the size and complex of the incident. One thing that the fire chief wanted to make clear is that these guys are saving lives, and the team members headed down south tonight are going to continue that mission. In Rockville, Daniel Hamburg, DC News Now.